everyone, it's Carrie with Floss Boss Stitches. It's been a few weeks since my last video when I was at my mom's house. So I'm back here and have a little bit of stuff to show. Um, a little bit of haul, uh, a little bit of progress, um, and some exciting news about project bags for me. Um, so I'll remind you that when I was in Tennessee with my mom, she made this project bag for me out of mostly scrap stuff that we already had and I was so darn excited she was supposed to make me another one before I left which she did not but um, I came home and got motivated to get out the sewing machine and just it's a pretty simple process to make these bags so I needed to just focus and make sure that I followed the directions and if I did have a mistake you know get out the seam ripper um, which is what I normally would not do so exciting I made this bag. Um, it's big enough for the booklets, the Stony Creek. The one my mom and I made, well, my mom with my moral support, wasn't large enough to hold um, a chart book, which really often there's a working copy anyway of the chart, but I just made it big enough to hold the chart. Um, it's mittens on the outside with this little topper. And um, being my first bag, I forgot that I wanted to put some of this fabric on this side of the zipper as well, but, um, and I've got some Christmas lights in there. It has Santa's truck and team in, which has not had any progress on it. Um, but in Stitch Mania, it's Christmas all years coming soon. So there you go. I was so excited about this. I know, um, well, anyway, I was just so excited about this, and it's so much fun, um, and I have tons of Christmas fabric anyway from when I pretend I'm going to ever finish up a quilt, that I want to have a little giveaway. Um, I want to make a Christmas fabric project bag and give it away if you're in Stitch Mania, and even if you're not, everybody stitches Christmas year-round, I'm pretty sure, at some point. So, um, I will make the bag and give it away on December 3rd. I'll post a video, even if it's just a short video for the drawing, on December 3rd. So if you would like to be entered, um, visit my Etsy shop, Floss Boss Stitches on Etsy, and message me that you would like to be entered and leave me your email address so that if you win, I can email you and get your address to ship it. So please go visit the shop and register to win a project bag. All right, so I made that project bag, but then I got all antsy and had more fabric. Um, so I made this project bag, um, smaller because so much of what I stitch for Christmas is ornaments anyway. So inside here, I have Brooks Books Advent Animals, and I have my Krynik because this is the only project I really use it for, and I really thought blinging them out would be fun, but this stuff can be a little bit of a pain to work with. I've pinched many needles closed at the eye because the crinic tries to jump out, so I'm pinching it, but then it's bending the needle, so it'll be alright. They're, they're going to look cool when they're done, I'll be glad. But this one, I... Um, actually really got out of control because I had to piece this fabric. It was definitely old quilt scraps for me and I didn't even have a piece big enough so um, I just made this white in the middle and it has little white on white snowflake print and put some rick rack for fun and on the back I also pieced um, the snowflake from the front in between here and I gave it a little rumpus tattoo. A little snowflake rump. It kind of reminded me of Cabbage Patch Dolls and how Xavier Roberts signed the rump. So, I don't know. I thought that was funny. I just really embellished this one. And the lining is uh, debatable for matching. But, again, it was all scraps. So, it's like, eh. I, it's green and red poinsettia. So, that that was fun. And, and it's nice to have... Um, Advent animals somewhere safe because I'm sure they're going to be with me for some time. 
before they end up packed away for Christmas stuff and brought out each year. Um, and then my mom did actually send me a project bag that she was supposed to make while I was there. So it's cute. It has this like, um, I don't know, like dictionary feel page with the different little witchy feet on it. Um, and I like how she put this top upside down to meet up with this one and little candy corns inside. Inside so here, um, I've been keeping my robot letters. So um, my mom's friend said, oh, I hate project bags because you don't know what's in them. I'm like, well, you're not supposed to store your pieces in them all the time. You can use your Ziplocs or the clear files, but um, I'm just doing it because I don't really have that many going right now and they're just such a novelty to me and for fun, but basically, I guess, you know, you would use them to pack up or travel with, maybe store something that you're not planning on having in the rotation for a while. Um, so, oh, lying, lying. I am not storing the robot letters in that bag. This bag, I actually am keeping some new haul in. And the piece is so new in the, as a whip that I haven't even taken it off the frame. But um, I'm actually using this one with these witchy feet, Halloween or not for my Brooks Books Oz collection. I ordered it um, because my mother-in-law was not able to order me Witchy Poo sale because she doesn't use PayPal. So, um, boo-hoo, I just ordered this for myself then. Um, and, oh, so glorious. I loved this movie when I was little. I mean, I still love it, but I really loved it when I was little and I was so scared of the witch. So with these nice bony legs and witch toes, um, I am storing the Oz collection. Now, I've started on Dorothy as a gift for my nephew who also loves Oz. Um, let me just bring it over on this side. I've got this brick, woohoo! And I'm using this needle minder, the little Emerald Julie because of Emerald City. Um, and that is from, hmm, it's from Kate. No name needle minders. And that was the freebie and I love it, it's so cute. Um, and this fabric is not Ada, as you can see. What is it? It's tea dyed DMC even weave linen. And that's the first time I've ever done this, so it was over two. And that is taking a little bit of getting used to. It's not terrible, but it's a little bit of getting used to, if you can think back to when you first did it. So there's whip number one for today. Dorothy for my nephew. I'm just gonna put on this one, um, there's more wrapped around, more fabric wrapped around here. And my goal is just to get Dorothy and her three traveling buddies and maybe the witch. Um, yeah, I know that that will fit, just not 100% sure how that will play out in the end. Now on these I have a question because I know that they come really from the book more than the movie, obviously. And I have not read these books, so I am asking someone to help me out here because I just, it's killing me. What is this in the witch's hand? I don't know. Is that um, part of like the broom? I did read Wicked, which I know is completely different than the original story, but just in case there was some kind of link there, um, because like with the eye patch, I don't know if that was just creative uh, license for her or if it actually refers to an eye patch in the book. Her being Brooke, of course. So I'm not sure what that is in the hand of the Wicked Witch. So if you know and you're willing to comment on this video, let me know what that is. Curiosity. I'm sure I could figure it out in the book, but with a great community of friends like you, I know you won't make me do that. That's what I'm storing in this bag that mom sent after I came home. Um, so my robot letters. I did start some robot letters, um, and I did start it just on a thin strip 
of Ada. Last video I was talking about how I wasn't really sure how I was going to use this and it was on sale at Hobby Lobby for only like $4.50 so I couldn't pass it up but I was happy that the chart once I opened it because nowhere on the outer packaging does it show that the chart includes some bigger icons that are not letters like uh, some rocket ships and stuff like that. Actually two different like spaceship looking things, rocket and then like that traditional flying saucer looking one. So I actually did just go ahead and start on the fabric that the kit included, which is just a strip, to do our last name. And I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it, but um, I, like I figure I'll be able to do something with it. So this is just the S. It kind of is not even like a robot. It's more like a alien. All the ones on the cover are robots, and it's called Alphabot, Alphabet. But um, it actually has quite a few like aliens. So I, I think it matches with the theme. This kind of looks like a sea monster if you could see it, but there isn't a picture of it. I just have the chart that shows them all um, and you'll see it. But yeah, it's kind of like a sea monster. Kind of looks like Aquaman. Like it has some of the gills on it that look like Aquaman. But the face kind of looks like Falcor from NeverEnding Story. I don't know. It'll be cute. Um, I'll make something out of it. Maybe a little pillow or maybe stitch it into something bigger that I can stitch more of the letters on. Jury is out. Okay. Um, a big piece that I started and finished since I... Um, made my last video is this. Oops. Um, it's called Patchwork Sewing Machine from Sew and Sew UK. It actually, I got it through Stitch Mania, um, a little twisted path, but that's how I got to it because the patchwork pumpkin that was up, somebody posted as a freebie. And when I went to the site, I really liked how it looked. So I looked at all their patterns, um, all that designer's patterns and saw this. And so I thought it'd be great for my mom, whose birthday is at the end of this month. And, and it is pretty big. It's over 11 inches wide, but um, it went so fast because obviously it's mostly back stitching. Um, I really like how it looks, all this back stitching work. I might look into some bigger charts like this. But, uh, so some changes I made. It was supposed to be like golden in here and I just wanted it to be more muted. So the little color accents I picked, just a uh, blue. I think it was DMC 763. And then um, on the quilt, I made several changes. Cause you know, my mom is a quilter um, and I, well, so that's kind of what brought me to it as a design. And it needed to be much smaller. Um, this side is all just as it was charted, the colors and everything, and even from here down. And then it kept going down, and I just didn't want it to keep getting too much bigger because I made a project bag out of it, and I didn't want it to get, like, so long, which I'll show you in a second. It kind of did anyway, so, eh. Um, and then I needed to keep it not keep it going on this side and it I could have just mirrored this but I didn't want to it's I think it looks draped okay kind of mm. some of the fabric choices here like the hearts and um, these actually the stripes are the same maybe the hearts is the only one this one was here but I extended it and changed the shape of it a little bit more and this one I moved from like down here and just followed the pattern and put it in the space I wanted it um, but the heart fabric was one that was like down here. So I changed some of the yellows out somewhere, changed some of the colors in the rainbow. Some of the quilt, not only would it have been too big for me, but um, it just had patches that had like tulips was one of them, like big tulips. So I didn't really think it matched well. And then also for sure, I wanted like less of a spring look and it was very springy. So. That's where my changes came in. 
And we won't count the changes that were accidental, only the purposeful ones, okay? Deal? And this is the whole bag. Um, it's pretty large as you can see. It's over 15 inches long and it has a square bottom because it will be for quilting and her taking it on, her and my dad had a new RV. They are sort of recently retired. Um, my dad had a shoulder injury when he retired. So it's been like three years, but like he had physical therapy and stuff. He had to have a uh, rotator cuff surgery. And then it was like a long rehabbing. And uh, my parents take care of my brother's kids some, just picking him up from school and stuff while he's working. But now they are driving. So now my parents are like cut free. And so they got an RV and she can take her quilting on the road. She does row by row. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that because I know our hobbies like cross with knitting and crocheting and sewing. So she does the row by row experience where you can go to different quilt shops in all the states and get like a, a three foot by maybe one foot, um, kind of like a table runner. You could put them together to make a quilt from each different shop or whatever, but it would easily fit in here, especially because she would have um, like a lot of applique things, maybe different types of scissors, pins. So that's just what this is meant to be. Who knows? She might throw a hair dryer in it or she might shake her head because I used um, interfacing that was really a little bit too thick for this. And this is not like sewn necessarily as nicely as I did my other bag. So, but I know she'll love it and I think she can take it. She, she makes all kinds of little quilty things that aren't just quilts that you would think, well, she can't take that in that bag, but she makes little stuff. It's cute little, um, like a, a placemat for tea. So it has a little place to put your spoon and it kind of like a place to put a little biscuit. And it's just, so she could carry that kind of stuff in there. And that's a start, a finish, FFO, all that. That might, that's like my first ever FFO really. Well, not exactly really. I did, um, I framed a few things, but anyway. Okay, moving on. Ta-da. I joked quite a bit about my select irregular Adas that I got um, as part of a big stash unload from my mom's neighbor. And w some of the things in there were like a bunch of these stitch mugs and also like stitch a baby sippy cup, which it's just a lid with holes in it. There's nothing in it to make it not spill. So not like today's sippy cups, but these are so funny to me. Um, it's vinyl Ada, 14 count. And I'm surprised these were $5.99 ever. Like, first of all, are these not 20 years old? Like in my hand, 20 years old. And at that, I'm surprised they were $5.99, but I am a big cheapskate, so um, I have several of these, so I decided to whip one up for my son, Gabriel. He's our middle son. He turned 13 this week, and he loves, loves, loves Garfield, um, and he also always chooses funky cups to drink out of. He never can pick the things that are easy to wash or whatever, so... I guess this thing will need to be hand washed, I, I'm guessing, and it'll be fun for him to have. So these letters came from the chart that was provided with the cup, and that is Teddy Bear, who my husband knew the name of. I was quite surprised at that. He knew the name of Garfield's Teddy. I don't, and I don't remember what he said, because it wasn't like Teddy, something weird. Um, and this is the design, let's see, come on. This I got from my favorite blogger, um, Italian blog, and I will try to link it at the bottom if I remember, but this um, is what I'm stitching. Just a little picture of Garfield hugging his teddy. And Gabriel saw me stitching it, so I guess I'll just give it to him, just something to stitch that is pretty quick, because I've only worked on this one time and got this progress yesterday. So. Um, it's always nice to have something to finish sometime for me um, in between never finishing anything. So, and I have another start. 
Um, you know, I love the blog that I just showed where I got Garfield from. I love the stained glass Disney things. So I've done Rapunzel and my mom helped me with Alice in Wonderland by putting no on it. So I started Chippendale. Um, this is my progress. That is Dale's eye and nose. You stinker. Oops. Technology. Okay. I've got this eye area and the nose. I also just started this one because that sewing machine project for my mom, I was working on a lot and anytime I get anything out to sew, I don't have a dedicated sewing room and Mr. Baby loves to, loves the sewing machine. I mean, I know he would, but he really tries to go for it, you know? I mean, more than other things like computer, maybe because it's not out all the time. But when I got it out, I had to really be focused on sewing and not doing anything else for that like day and a half because every time he walked by, I would have to like unplug it, lift it up, put it out of the way. Um, so a lot of my time was stitching the sewing machine in the last three weeks and sewing the bag. So I got a few starts going. But uh, I, I actually specifically started this one because of this new needle minder that I got. Um, so, so fast, needle attractions on Etsy. She's in Louisiana and they come so, so, so fast. So I just wanted to do my Chippendale design because I already had it pinned. Um, so now that I have the needle minder, you just have to, right? That's just on pink um, value saver select irregular ADA. 14 count. And I must say, I kind of love that stuff. I don't, I wouldn't want to do something fancy on it, but since I don't, I do love it. Um, I got, did I buy any more digital charts? Um, I mean, I got the Brooks books and I got the one from so-and-so, which you already saw finished. Oh, duh. Okay. Um, my future sister-in-law, my brother-in-law's girlfriend is South Korean. And, um, I'm really trying to encourage them to hurry it up and get married because I need a little niece or nephew. So I've been seeing all this soda stitch stuff and on Instagram, um, I follow a lot of stitchers in Asia and they have tons of soda stitch. I mean, even more than the sweet bears or the, uh, what Kate calls the bear bum, bum bear, because the one that's crawling up the cake rack. But I've seen a few sodas, but it really caught my eye because a lot of my Asian, um, or the ladies that I follow in Asia, stitch a ton of it. So I went and sought it out. Now I want every chart. I love how Soda does their um, fairy tale figures, which are on sale, by the way. I like all the fairy tale 10 by 10 ish, maybe a little smaller than that, um, like cushion size, are on sale. And I just love how they look. I love that anime look to them. I really love them. So I ended up getting this. Oh, yeah, you like it? Yeah, that's good. How about this? Um, the collection of traditional Korean clothes. Uh, I think my plan right now, I only got this like two days ago in the mail and he actually is here from New York with his girlfriend um, for a visit. But uh, I think I'm gonna do the couples on separate, so it will be four separate squares and then have them matted all on one, but just mat between them like panes, I think. I might do them in a strip, we'll see. But um, I already have some linen ready for the four sets. So I really love this, and this is meant to be their housewarming gift, um, because hopefully they will be together in July. And I already ordered, and it's not in, the kit for the um, Korean alphabet for their baby's room, which, you know, obviously their baby is not even really a twinkle 
in my brother-in-law's eye. But too bad. They need to hurry up. They're not spring chickens, so, and they don't mind the pressure. They think it's funny. I'm like, well, I'm glad you think it's funny because I'm doing it probably either way. So this works out. So coming up, you'll start seeing some progress on the traditional Korean clothes and the kit that is the alphabet for the baby's room. The baby that is not even thought of yet, except by me. All right, um, so the Chippendale needle minder was new and I have a few other new ones. Funny, funny, I put them on like a mini muffin tin. I, I know, it's so silly, but I, I like that. So also from Needle Attractions, I got the Hitchhiking Ghost from the Haunted Mansion. And she sent me this Starbucks coffee complimentary. And from No Name Needle Minders, I got some new ones. what I get? I, I got this Santa Domino because, I mean, Christmas year round is coming up, so I'll need that. And I think this is my only other Christmas needle minder anyway. So let's be real, that's not enough. Yeah. Um, and I got these two Scrabble tiles from No Name Needle Minders. That's Kate's new size. So I got the whole crest of Hogwarts because I never can decide what house I think I'm in. Probably Hufflepuff, truth be told. But of course I wanna pretend it's Gryffindor. I'm sure I'm a Hufflepuff, but I just got the whole house because I do have all four, um, all four of the house, what is that called? Crests uh, from the World in Stitches. And I've shown the Gryffindor one before. So I'll be able to use that for those. And lots of Halloween stuff all the time. And I love Jack Lanterns. That's so cute. And Kate sent me this itty bitty owl as a complimentary minder and I really use that one a lot it's it's funny because it has grooves on it and it really hugs the needle well so those are a few new minders I ordered from minding my minders um, and maybe next video I'll be able to show those oh my gosh there's a kit on Hirschner's website because I crochet a lot and got a lot of yarn also there and now I get all their emails so I'm addicted to this kit that I want. It's a happy cat, like the lucky cat that does its little paw down. Um, no, no, maybe it's just a cat wearing like karate outfit and it says this is how I roll and has some sushi and I really want it and the happy cat with the hand doing this, that's one of the needle minders that I ordered from Minding My Minders. So I'll get that one and a Phantom of the Opera, which is near and dear to my family's heart. I'm kind of eh on Phantom. We saw it last year in Tampa and my son, 13 year old, loves it. And he plays it on this piano all the time because my husband has the book, like the complicated book of music and then like a version that is a little bit more beginner friendly. And, I mean, not super easy, but just not what they have in the orchestra pit. Um, and my son loves that music. He just walks around making that noise. And actually, it must have been two years ago that we saw that show. He loved it. It was okay for me. So I got, I got the Phantom, though, because it's so near and dear to the family's heart. But I'll show those. I don't need, oh, I do remember uh, a few other ones. But I'll just show them when, when they come in. And I'll have my Korean alphabet and maybe have started it. It's so cute. I love it. Sometimes I feel like I want to triple stitch charts because like I want to gift one and I want to keep one. And please, I hardly finish anything at all once. So I probably should not be having these grand ideas of stitching the same chart repeatedly. But we'll see. <laughs> maybe I will one day. Certain things. We'll see. So I think that's all I have. Did a little bit of haul, very little bit. So a few starts, one FFO and the bags. So again, just go see me on Etsy at Floss Boss Stitches and message me your email address so that I can draw on December 3rd for a little bag to send to you. Have a good stitchy week or weeks 
given how I've been posting and I'll see you later.